Hello there and welcome back to Dukoscopy TV today. I'm Darren McDermott. Well, over the last 15 years, bonds have massively outperformed equities and since 1998, 10-year U.S. Treasury bonds outperformed the S&P 500 by roughly 90%. Now, in the Dukoscopy studio, we asked many of our guests the special Dukoscopy question, which is, if you had one million, where would you invest it? Gold, equities, real estate, bonds, cash, oil, and so on. I actually found it quite interesting that recently many people actually have been saying equities. Well, on this topic today, I am joined by Jacques Henry, and he is Senior Equity Strategist at PKNC here in Geneva. So welcome today. So Jacques, in terms of sentiment, are you feeling bullish for equities? I'm like many uh, other investors at the moment, I'm bullish on equities. Uh, I'm not bullish on bonds. I think the total return you can expect on bonds at present uh, is not stellar. And gold, there is a controversy on gold at the moment. Uh, some people say, argue that uh, the bull market, the secular bull market in gold is over. Others say it's just a pause in this rally. But anyhow, one day central banks uh, will, uh, will need to stop uh, quantitative easing. In those circumstances, I do not expect gold to perform very well. So uh, it depends on the, the time frame I have to invest. But uh, for the next 10 years, I do not think that gold is a great investment either. So bullish on equities, I think it's the best bet you can have on economic growth. And we expect economic growth to recover at some, at some point. We have green shoots at the moment, and we hope uh, that it will materialize further, not only in the US, but uh, in the years to come in, in Europe as well. And we saw European equities decline due to a Italian deadlock. Now, in terms of Italian equities, and of course, European equities in general, what are we seeing? We think that uh, Italian elections are more a catalyst for corrections than anything else at the moment. If you look at the market, even before uh, the Italian votes, uh, definitely uh, we think that equity markets were at risk. Uh, the, the recent uh, bull market started in mid-November, and it was almost a straight line until the end of January or, or mid-February, depending whether you look at the US or Europe. So. Uh, in a way, this correction could be healthy uh, and suitable for, for equity investors. Uh, we think um, equity markets were a bit stretched. Uh, they were stretched in terms of uh, valuation. Uh, we are ba almost back to valuation levels that prevailed before the burst of the subprime crisis. So in this way, uh, it's not a bargain as it uh, used to be uh, a, few, a few months ago, for instance, uh, especially on European equities. So uh, constructive on, on equities for the long term, maybe some troubles in the short term. Uh, investors at the moment are concerned about uh, the Italian outcome. Uh, the, the European Central Bank uh, uh, has put a safety net on the European system, but uh, the new OMT program uh, cannot be uh, launched provided uh, the, the state in trouble asks for a bailout. The problem with Italy is there is no government who will require for the, uh, will ask for the bailout, maybe no one. So that's why uh, markets were very concerned about the Italian elections. Is it a temper? Uh, is it temporary or uh, a true problem? It's hard to say at the moment. But for sure, a risk increased a lot, and much more in Europe than in the US. Mm -hmm. If you have a look at implied volatility in Europe, it spiked from 15% to 25%. 25% is definitely uh, what you normally find uh, uh, when the market has big trouble, has big problems. It's not the case in the US. It was much more steady. Uh, you, you increase from 12% uh, to 18%. Uh, and, and yesterday, uh, surprisingly, the S&P 500 was up again. So uh, maybe it's just uh, a, a small problem, uh, more concern about Europe than the US. And we'll see in a few weeks time whether the, the bull trend will resume. And we hope it will be the case. And just to sum things up, what else should we expect to see in terms of the movements in the global stock market? 
If we have a look at the uh, global stock market, the, the problem at the moment is the economic recovery is taking more time than expected uh, to materialize. Uh, if you have a look at earnings expectations, earnings growth expectations, uh, mid-November, uh, when the bull market started, uh, we were expecting uh, 2013 earnings to grow by roughly 12%, both in the US and Europe. Now we are standing at a bit more than 6% in Europe and a bit more than 7% in the US. So definitely not a very gr good year for earnings growth. So where growth could come from? This is a big question. Uh, if you have a look at developed equity markets, the other developed equity market where we can have uh, some positive uh, figures is for Japan. Uh, in Japan, earnings are expected to grow 40% this year. But again, this is largely a base effect uh, after the financial crisis of 2008 and the Fukushima disaster, uh, earnings collapsed in Japan and Japan is more cyclical than any other developed market. So if you exclude uh, a base effect on some cyclical stocks and uh, another big problem in Japan is power generation. Uh, as, as they are escaping nuclear power at the moment, uh, which means that uh, most power generation companies are making huge losses. And just the decrease in those losses make uh, uh, earnings growth um, uh, even stronger in Japan. If you exclude this effect, uh, you come back to, let's say, 28% earnings growth for this year, which is still huge and much bigger than what you expect in Europe and the US. But it will normalize next year and, uh, and uh, even further in 2015. So there is no superior earnings growth uh, in Japan or other uh, compared to what you have in Europe and the US. So it's not a long-term bullish uh, trend that you have in Japan. And in Japan, you have another problem at the moment, is the yen. Uh, it was the best uh, performing uh, area here to date. But uh, if you convert the increase in dollar terms, you get, uh, let's say that uh, three quarters of the performance vanishes. So Japan, yes, for the time being, but for the long-term story in terms of earnings growth, uh, it's not a clear cut. Uh, where you have s still some superior earnings growth, it's still emerging, uh, emerging market and especially uh, Asia. So uh, if you are chasing for growth at the moment, go back to uh, emerging Asia and uh, just be uh, uh, very cautious on your entry point because at, at the moment, uh, as, as the market is going down, when markets are going down, usually all markets are going down. Uh, uh, doing some country picking will be much more powerful uh, once probably the Italian election is over and uh, people start to focus again on the economic recovery globally. Thank you very much for coming in today and sharing your views on equities. Thank you. Well, viewers, that is it for right now. But if you want to see another interview from PKNC, I recently interviewed Chloe Kuz Dunon, commodity expert on commodities. So do have a look at that. But for now, goodbye.